Hi Scorpio, this is going to be your mid-September 2020 love reading. We'll see what messages come out for you. We'll check your recent past, current and near future energies. So let's see. What do my Scorpio needs? What's going on with my Scorpios? Okay, three of pentacles. Dun, dun, dun. Six of swords in reverse. The moon card, your energy Scorpio, the star card. Could be dealing with an aqua, could have that in your own chart. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need to clarify this. Um, let's see. So you're resisting moving on from someone, or at least you were in your recent past. The three of pentacles shows us teamwork, collaboration, um, trying to be on the same page with someone, trying to work things out. Um, might even be getting advice from other people on how you could get reconciliation with this person here okay um because you don't really want to move on from them let's move this a little further clarify the two the moon in reverse wow okay and you might have kept a secret you might not have okay there's two knights of cups in reverse you might not have uh, shown them that you were interested in them okay that you were still looking for reconciliation you were secretly hoping for it but you weren't really showing them that, okay? Could have been a fire sign that you were dealing with. Really could be anyone. Everything is, a lot of zodiacs are here. Um, but yeah, I think that you were keeping your feelings hidden, okay? You were resisting moving on from someone. You, it's almost like getting fixated on a person. And it almost becomes like a challenge for you, Scorpio, that I am going to win this person over. This person might have rejected you multiple times or been defensive towards you um even might have like breadcrumbed you like one day they love you the next day they have no interest in you okay um the moon and the star is here um i feel like this person also kept a lot of secrets from you it's not very communicative type of uh connection that i'm getting it's almost like a lot of games are being played okay energies can be vice versa guys so feel free to switch the roles if you need to um, but I feel like you were really fixating, like focused on like, you were resisting moving on, okay? And uh, you were really focused on what had gone wrong and how you could get this person back. It almost became a challenge, okay? And um, we've got the five of cups in reverse, but you decided to be more positive about this. You decided... That no, you know what? I'm gonna try and manifest more emotional, more of an emotional connection here. But it's almost like every time you go towards this person with emotions, you hit a wall. You hit a wall and they just refuse to open up. Okay, whether you do this to them or you, they do this to you, I'm reading from your point of view, Scorps. Um, the star card shows me, you know, hopeful, wanting a renewal. Okay, you just really want that. You really. Uh, you're still very hopeful about reconciliation. You're really hopeful about fixing things with this person. Um, there is communication that happened, okay? I do see that recently, or if this hasn't happened, it's happening really soon. The, there is some sort of communication that is coming in. However, I don't think this is going to be very good communication, okay? Um, you might even tell this person that, yeah, okay, you know what? I'm moving on. Or they might tell you that they are moving on, Um vice versa but the four of wands in reverse shows me that you wanted long-term commitment with this person you wanted a lot of passion with this person but this person was just really defensive really cold very hot and cold not just cold because i do see that they did give because i'm sensing they did show you a side of them that you felt really intrigued by right that kind of pulled you in towards this person that kind of made you want to uh, pursue them so passionately but um i think you're deciding to walk away from the scorpio you're no longer going to wait on this okay um again that's twice knight of cups in reverse um i think this person has also turned you very defensive okay um now you're both kind of mirroring each other's energy and i feel like you were doing that from the beginning from the get-go like you would open up and they would withdraw then they would open up and you would withdraw it was just never really like 
how do I say it was never proper communication of emotions if you get what I mean right but I do see some communication happening end of September mid-September after the 15th or maybe on the 15th okay and uh, I feel like there's going to be more defensiveness after this conversation there there might be like this conversation might cause you both to even withdraw more from each other. Let's see what this person, the way this person views you and what their intentions are towards you, Scorpio. How does this person view my Scorpio? The fool in reverse. They see you as someone very logical and I feel that they are also being very logical about you. Okay. Um, like I said, you're both you both have a lot of emotions for each other but your logic your psychological fears kind of get go into battle with each other with your romantic aspect like so your heart and mind are basically battling okay and it's not just you it's them too okay they're also trying to be logical but i do see there are emotions but they just keep there's just there's just this resistance there's just this wall between the two of you this wall goes down once in a while but it never goes all the way down okay what are their actions towards you for the month of september scorpio four of cups in reverse okay okay that's not bad let's clarify that it might be less okay so i think they might try to communicate with, okay wait hold on i'm getting a very specific story but let me clarify this first king of cups okay here's your story scorpio i think that the communication that's coming in this month this person is so you you've been hoping for this person this person you know breadcrumbs you they give you a little bit to keep you um hooked but every time you go towards them um they withdraw or they get really defensive and uh, they never open up emotionally and so you withdraw and then they come to you and open up emotionally. And I think, Scorpio, in September, you've gotten really sick and tired of this hot and cold game with them, okay? I think you were prepared. You were ready for a renewal. You were ready to take this into an emotional connection direction, right? But um, I think the communication that's coming in, that's going to be the same thing. This person is going to come to you uh, looking for validation, maybe, or trying to make sure that you're still on their hook. They are going to try to talk to you about their emotions. They're going to try to offer you emotions and love. They might open up emotionally to you, okay? But then again, like, they do it so logically. I feel like this person does have emotions for you. Because King of Cups is not a bad card when it comes to emotions. It's not a selfish card, Scorpio. I think this person just doesn't really... This person might have trust issues, okay? This person might have a lot of self-deception, a lot of fears... Um, that have probably, you know, they have created over time because of their past traumas maybe. But um, that is why I think this person is trying to be more logical and it's almost like they're scared to open up to you. But they do have emotions for you. However, moving into like September, I just feel like that's still this, this is a very stagnant energy. Like it's still not moving forward. And I just feel intuitively that you're kind of done with that, Scorpio. You don't really want to deal with that. And when they communicate more emotions to you, you might even turn them down. But let's see. How do you feel about them? Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so you still want stability with them. You're willing to give them that. Okay. You're willing to give them that. What your actions are towards them? The hermit in reverse okay you might take some time away from them in september but then come around and offer them stability okay um i do see that you do want a renewal still because the star card you know that's renewal and then ace of pentacles is a brand new offer of stability okay abundance and uh support as well um i do think that you might actually just go towards this person let's see what your outcome is okay with this person They might even know that you're pulling away from them and it's like just they realize you're pulling away and then they come back. But I think this time, okay, this is a uh, this is a more clear uh, message. This time, I think you're just because I think that's why this is here. You're going to tell them that this is what I want with you. Okay, I want long term commitment. I actually want something I want to actually I want an emotional connection. I want to 
have those things with you okay if not then no i don't want anything else because uh, i'm kind of sick and tired of uh, being on and off and always having to second guess how you are feeling about me and then scorpio i think this person is going to open up to you emotionally they might even tell you that um because of their past relationships they're scared to you know open up uh, they're scared to let a new person in or you know if this is a reconciliation with for you because that could be the case here with the six of uh, swords in reverse um it could be a past person that you're reconnecting with and maybe you have been like uh, so far away from each other right that you don't really have that uh you like basically it's like when you're so out of touch with someone for so long that you have to get to know them from zero again um so they might open up to you emotionally and you might even like share their fears with you and you i think you'll be very supportive okay you um might move forward let's see what your outcome is with this person high priestess and reverse okay interesting interesting outcome clarifying that okay so you might move forward with them again i feel like you guys are going to discuss things from a logical and emotional point of view whether you guys should or should not move forward however i do feel like you are moving forward with this person and you are giving them a new offer of stability but that will only happen when this person opens up to you and i can see them doing that this month end of september um you might take some time to think about it scorpio but i think you will like at the end it looks like you're going to like move forward with them okay because i feel like the ball's just going to be in your court end of september okay as soon as this person lets their wall down the ball is in your court i think that wall that they have put up is blocking that ball from rolling into your court right now as soon as it goes down the ball is like there let's see what the star seed oracle has for you scorps yeah water your garden nourishment body care tenderness and rest so if you're feeling emotionally exhausted scorpio you might want to take some time for yourself to nurture yourself maybe take a bath okay uh, body care you might want to you know if you've been eating a lot of garbage lately bad food you're not a raccoon so i can only hope that you're not eating garbage but you know if you've been eating a lot of junk food you might be of wanting to detox or try start eating a little healthier take care of yourself especially if you have just gone through a breakup or anything that was emotionally exhausting that is not the right time to let go of yourself that is the time when you need yourself the most scorps okay let's see what the rebel deck has for you for advice okay guys if you don't like swear words these videos are not made for kids um please skip or you could end the video here if you like the rebel deck please stick around it's very straightforward advice we've got shit is going down with your job uh re-evaluate change your perspective or fucking quit okay so i think some re-evaluation and new perspectives fresh new perspectives might be needed for the month of september okay so that's what i have for you scorpios if this resonates please like and subscribe and i will see you with your october reading